Hello Divine Ones, this is Fairy Dust 1111 and this video is about the 888. What does it mean? And I call it the crazy eight. So here we go. And this is divine numerology, okay? So this is um just what the, the spirit has given me. Everybody's different, you know, no limitations. Here we go. All right, so um with the number eight for me, well, let me go back first. Okay, so typically a eight is drawn or written with two even circles like you have one on top of the other almost like an even snowman like as if a snowman not with a small head uh, some people do write it like that but i'm talking about like the even one like his head as big as his stomach or something like the ones that i have here on this diagram so for me it's like as above so below so for um, example if anyone knows anything about alchemy we um, know the phrase about as above so below so that means that um, what is in the higher realms the divinity that you're manifesting it bringing it to the 3d which is the um, 3d experience the human aspect okay so as well too this is um, what a person may think about or perceive or the filter that they view the world as for example, if your mentality, if you have the your thought process, your emotions, all that stuff like that, your perception is um, what you, what, how the way you may see the world or you may see yourself. If you have that type of mind frame, like, okay, um, everything is against me, I'm defeated, um, that doesn't happen to people like me, then guess what? That's going to play out in your actions. That that means that's how, you, how you're going to bring it down to yourself and play it out. And it, the same thing is true for if you have a positive mindset or optimistic viewpoint that you think highly of yourself and that you know that things will happen for, um, for you in a positive manner. And so therefore, that's the way how you view the world. That's the lens in which you see the world and so therefore that's your thought process and your perception of yourself and of the world so therefore that will play out so with that being said um as well let me bring up this diagram okay so if you turn an eight on its side it looks similar to an infinity sign so to me the number eight also represents like recreation rebirth uh, regeneration um and like affinity like um infinite possibilities and in addition to that, so if this applies to divine partnerships and twin flames, so being that you guys are exact mirrors of each other, then this would also um, be applicable to twin flames and divine partnerships. So like this is like to me, um, sometimes in readings, like I'm drawn to the number eight when it comes to like twin flames and divine partnerships, because it's like a balancing out of the two. Okay, and let's go through some other things here. Okay, so with this, this is like the divine flower. Okay, so this is if is if you had two eights together. This is what I call the crazy eight. So with me, I wish I had it sort of rotated it a little bit, but um, if you can see that it's two eights. So imagine, actually just flip it a little bit. Um, and if you were to flip it a little bit, say that the eight one um, eight is going to the side like that and then you have one eight going upward like that so just imagine if it's doing that <laughs> so it's like to me it's the divine flower which is um very similar to um the divine star and i i explain the divine star as it looks like the star of david as they call it the star of david um it's like when you have the divine triangle which is the divine union within one um person or one twin and then you know the other twin of course has a divine union with them themselves and then together you guys um come together so you have one triangle facing upward as above you have the other triangle facing downward as below and so you have the divine star that means that you guys um have not only received union within yourself to the divine source but as well you guys are in divine union so it's like a divine star. And so with this being said, um, is that it's almost the same concept. It's like through the mirroring process that in um, connecting to the divine source, which is through your higher self, which is through the Holy Spirit, the Christos energy, that you're able to bring that down from the higher realms and manifest it. And so therefore you have the divine flower. This is me saying it's the divine flower. It could be something else that is a divine flower for other people. And I also call it the crazy eight. Um, so let's see anything else about the eight. So when I see the eight, 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 this is like, um, letting me know that 
okay remember when i went to the affinity like a rejuvenation um like it could also mean like new knowledge or um new wisdom or uh like an abundance or connecting to the christos energy the holy spirit because remember that gives you that um your higher self that infinite knowledge so when when i um i see that in conjunction like say for example with my twin my twins um number number sequence that that reminds me of him it's a certain number pattern that i see and including his birth date so say for example if i see the eight with his birth date then um and continuously or also in conjunction with the 888 that lets me know that he is going through um, a certain phase or he has had an epiphany like um it also is it's sort of like a feeling too um so for example if i had if it's like an eight with his birth date or the other number sequences um or or it may be at the end or something like it may be a single eight that lets me know it's like an epiphany like he's had an epiphany with 888 and then, um, like, I may see it, like, a, a couple, more than one time in conjunction with, like, a number or um, an animal that God has given to me to show me that's in relation to my twin. Has let me know that he's going to another, um, he has, uh, he's had um, some type of a spiritual breakthrough or he's going through a spiritual breakthrough. So this is just different ways of how the spirit talks to me. So maybe, you know, when you receive information and you see number sequences, this could help you to be able to recognize, you know, where your twin is um, and then also give you motivation to keep moving forward as well. Like, um, so hopefully, you know, this uh, makes sense to you. Um, let me think if there's anything else that the spirit wants me to say about the number eight. I don't believe so, so, oh, yeah, also, too, yeah, well, this was the, ma this was the magician card, so, um, as well, thank you, Spirit, um, about the magician card, the number eight reminds me of the magician card, well, of course, you see the affinity symbol above the magician, which is not just a man or a woman, it's just the, the being, the 3D being, it could be the masculine or the feminine. And so you see they have here the symbolism in alchemy of as above, so below. You see how you have one hand pointed up with either, um, it's like the wand or a rod. Um, and then it's the other hand pointing down. So they're grounding something. They're receiving higher information from the divine source, which is the affinity sign. And they're grounding it. That means they're manifesting whatever it is from out of that realm okay and so um as well here you have they have all of the signs such as you know you have earth air wind and water and then the um pointing up would be like ether which is aka the spirit realm and so um as well with that too is that you're taking all of the four elements and you dominating them you're using them um to manifest you're using them um not to hinder yourself and be limited like how this existence is supposed to how how it was designed it's like an obstacle course you know most fall to the wayside allowing these um elements and the 3d existence to rule over them instead of using them as you see this magician magician is using them as tools to help um, get through this, uh, this uh, I want to say maze or obstacle course, to strengthen their spirituality and their connection and this infinite knowing with that eight over top of their head. And so um, with that uh, being said, um, and then you'll, I'm, I'm going to do a series on alchemy and um, divine alchemy and the meanings of all these different symbols that you see, like the roses have a, a meaning within um, not just tarot, but within our society as a whole and um everything has like a history and everything has a message with all this symbolism in it and so as we learn to break down these symbols we learn how to manifest and dominate this 3d existence we, as divine ones we should be dominating this you know we could manifest anything we want to because we are the magician remember okay all right so um let me think if anything else that the spirit wants me to say Mm, okay i think that's it about the um about the crazy eight you know the eight 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 all right you guys so comment like share and subscribe and thank you very much i'll talk to you guys later peace